okay, stop recording or things like that, alright? Okay. Um, so let's look at this. We have activity, activity alright? Uh, 3.11. So um, we have a rectangular channel. So we have a rectangular channel. Okay. Hey, someone is trying to join, is it? Okay, Rina. I need to admit this. Okay. Alright. So we have a rectangular channel. So why not is 1.6 meter. Okay. Okay. Why not is 1.6 meter? And then so why not is six one by six meter and R, which is the hydraulic radius, huh, is given as is given as zero point seven seven meter. By now you should know and eh, the unit for R, which is hydraulic radius, should be in meter eh, because A divided by P, right? So and then you have S naught. S naught is the longitudinal slope is one over three thousand. Now the other day I did mention that right, um I hope that you know your calculation right will give me four significant number. All right, in terms of four significant number, this will result in just a second, right? Um, oh sorry, uh, this guy. So this will result in. Okay, could someone help me calculate this? Anyone can give me answer. Anyone? Is it correct? Can you help me? Yes, doctor. Okay, great. Thank you. Ah, uh, ada satu kosong lagi. Oh, ada satu kosong lagi ya. Okay, <laughs> Eh, correct or not? Satu kosong lagi eh? Haa, uh, kosong poin, kosong, kosong, kosong. Oh, tiga, tiga kosong tiga. eh. Okay, thank uh, you. Saya kan tak tahu. Okay, thank you. So, alright, okay. So, I have it. Alright. Um, now, when I check your test one, right, I found that some of you make me sick, you know, you just give me 0 0.003. Okay, like what I did, okay? And there are a couple of you lah. Okay, now. And then I have many N equals to 0 0.01. Um, I guess after our mid-semester mid break, right, we are going to discuss your test a bit, eh? Or I'm going to give you the answer scheme. You just, you know, go through your test. Um, now we have here uh, all the variables given, right? So, you know, this is uh, our... Hydraulic radius is given already, so it actually simplify your uh, calculation already. Okay, now, why not is provided. Okay, now, from why not, you know that if you want to find H-mean, right? Okay, the first question would ask you to find what is your H-mean. Oh, a lot of people are... Okay. okay, now. Now. Uh, you want to find your H-mean, do you still remember the first step would be you want to find Y0 and Yc. So in this question, Y0 is provided already. So the next step would be you want to find your Yc. Now, uh, what is your discharge? You don't have discharge here because in order to find Yc, you need discharge. So many N is given. So you probably can find your discharge using this formula. Alright? Um, so I'm going to rewrite this. This is the manning roughness uh, flow equation I have here. So uh, because this is rectangular, rectangular chain, a section. So what I could do is I said divide B both sides. Okay, both sides of the equation. I'm going to divide B. So I'm going to have, all right. So what I'm going to have is. Q divided by B equals to 1 over N. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter where you put your B is. Lah. So I'm going to put 1 divided by B here. I have A, R, Q. So uh, I have then then I'm going to put here. So both sides divided by B. Okay. I have divided by B here and divided by B here. So this becomes discharge per unit width 
equals to 1 over n. Now, you know, by now you should know for rectangular section, right? A is, is B times Y. So, I can actually, you know, simplify this. That means my A becomes Y. Alright, it should be Y not lah. Alright, now R is 2 over 3 and S not half. Be careful, eh? your R is not Y. It's not Y because... It doesn't say this is a very wide channel, okay? It doesn't say. So, you have to maintain your uh, hydraulic radius here. So, your Q would be, okay, uh, 1 over 0 0.01 times, okay, uh, Y naught is 1.6, your hydraulic radius is 0 0.77. Um, some of you may have, you know, internet problem. I, I could understand why we joined later, right? I hope it is because you're in, of your internet problem. Eh? So this becomes 0 0.77 over uh, to the power of 2 third times uh, 0. Point, or you can just put 1 over 3000 to the power of half, right? So it doesn't matter. So I'm writing this slope in four significant number. Okay, you have four significant number here to the power of half. So, can I have the answer please, anyone? What is a discharge for unit B? 2.454. 2.454. Awati here? Uh -uh. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you. So, you have here. So, that would be your discharge over unit width. Now, can you find your YC already? Yes, you could by now. So for rectangular section again, YC. Now, if it's not rectangular section or even rectangular section, you could use this formula. I hope you still remember. Eh? So when when is sorry when is? Okay. Eh, I thought someone joined. Okay. Now, when it's a uh, any section you could use this formula but for rectangular section you are good you have been you have reduced this formula into this formula here it doesn't matter how you write it eh? it could be cubic root of q squared over g i just like i prefer to use to the power of one third eh? it's easier for me then i have here um <laughs> someone internet is uh, not so I have here discharge is 2.454 square. Uh, some of you might forget to write this. Just be careful because I tend to make the same mistake as well, right? So 1 over 3, but you are going to lose part uh, if you are forgetting all this eh, power. So could I have I want to could you give me the answer please? Kosong point lapan empat sembilan sembilan. Kosong point empat lapan sembilan sembilan eh. Correct. Kosong point lapan empat sembilan sembilan. Okay. Ah, it's already. Okay, so many people join. So this give you. Almost 0 0.85 lah, but I would prefer you to write in four significant number, which is um, uh, exactly like what Awati have given me has given me. She gave she gives me 0 0.8499 meter. Alright, so you have minor and YC. Okay, I want to ask somebody eh, uh, a question. Could I have Shahidato? Is Shahidato there? Shahidato? You're not there, Shahidato. Yeah, Doctor. Ah, Shahidato nak tanya lah satu soalan, right? If you look at this, right? Okay, I wanted to know. I uh, my Y not is one point six meter. Then my one C is you. Hey, are you crying? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, okay. and then I have YC 0 0.8499. If you compare this, 
y naught is greater than y c. Am I right? Okay, Dato? Betul tak? Huh? Betul ah, tak betul. y naught lebih besar daripada y c kan? So, uh -huh. since y naught greater than y c, what is the condition of this flow eh? Initially, why not? What is the condition of why not? Is that subcritical, supercritical or critical? Dengar you balik, no time. I can hear you flipping through the notes. <laughs> okay. Subcritical. Yes, right. Subcritical. Do you remember that the tips I tell you, right? You know, you have this uh, slope, okay? All these different kind of slope. This is slope, which is, let, let's assume this, this is huge slope, all right? This slope is, okay? And then you have a milder slope, which is less than SC, okay? If Q, constant, the Q is constant, right? On all three slope, right? You will expect this is very fast, alright? You will expect this flow is very fast and then the layer or the depth, you know, is very small compared to when it's YC, alright? Or when it's Y not greater than YC, Y not less than YC. You, you will know this should be super critical. Okay, this is critical and this is subcritical. So in our case, right, this is the one, eh? Okay. So I hope you know there are things that you don't really have to memorize very uh you just need to understand all this concept, all right? Okay, now so you are you you already found this is subcritical. So you know that okay, when we subcritical, what does it mean? It shows that okay. You have this EY curve, right? This would be E equals to Y. You have this specific energy. And then you have this YC. You have E mean here. And you have E not here. So which point it is? It should be this one, okay? Because your Y not, okay? which is subcritical, eh, is 1.6 meter and your YC is 0.8499 meter. I hope now you are clear. Eh? Your your Y not is not this point, it's not the supercritical, but this one. Okay? All right. So now you know that for case 1, right, the depth should be, uh, for, sorry, for case 2, all right, your Y2 should be somewhere on this uh Upper, upper limb lah, I will say upper limb of the curve, alright? Uh, not here, eh? Okay, because it, it will reduce, okay? The velocity will be reduced or the depth will be reduced, okay? Now, okay, before it change, it, it change with critical uh, depth lah, during critical flow, alright? So, now you have soft, right? Why not NYC? So, it will ask you, you know, to find H mean. The question one us to find H mean. What is the formula? Do you still remember that E mean plus H mean will give you E naught? I hope I hope you still remember. Eh? So yeah. So H mean would be E naught minus E mean. So now you know your formula already. So what is your E naught? E naught is I hope you still remember this specific energy formula. Eh? Q squared over 2GY not squared. Awati, so far? Yes, Dr. Yeah. Is your, is your uh, set agree with mine? Yes. Okay, that's good. Alright. So, I have this E not here. My Y not is 1.6 plus. I, I'm sorry for the others. Eh? I just called Awati, but if you want me to call your name, you can help me too. Okay, thank you. So what is my Q? I found it earlier, which is 2.454. Okay, square, eh? remember? Eh? Uh, divided by 9.81, the gravitational acceleration. 
divided by 1.6 squared. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to call Awati. Could you help me? Give me the answer. 1.720. Meter. Okay. Meter, great. Thank you. I just want to ask you about the <laughs> This is meter. Remember here, yeah, this is meter. This term is meter, right? So it comes up to meter, right? Okay, now this is, even though I say it's specific energy, but it, it, it is uh, expressed in terms of the heat, right? Okay, now you have E naught. E mean. Okay, can I have somebody to give me the formula for rectangular section? I'm going to call. No, Kamarina. Are you there, Kamarina? Kamarina? Is Kamarina there? Then I'll call Ismael. Ismael is there or not? Ismael? How come your guys are not there? <laughs> Ismael, is Ismael there? You guys are hiding somewhere. Okay then. Uh, Nur Aini? Is Nur Aini there? Okay, Nur Aini. Nur Aini, can you give me the formula of E? I know that you could give me this, eh? Okay, but there is a simpler formula, right? Am I right? So for... for 3 over 2 IC. Huh? Apa? 3 over 2 IC. Ah, thank you. Who is this, eh? Huh? Siapa, eh? Yang bercakap tadi? Mimi. Mimi? Amizan, Amizan. Amizan. <laughs> <laughs> Pandai, eh? You guna Very nama good. orang. <laughs> okay. Afi tak ajar risau lah. Asyik tak marah. Amizan, eh? Okay. I, 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 I won't get mad easily lah. Okay, so this would be equal to 1.5 YC kan? Or 3 over 2 kan? Thanks eh, happy son. Okay, so I have that 1.5 times what is my YC? I found that my YC is 0 0.8499. So, Hafizan, could you continue for me? What is E mean? 1.275 meter. Oh, all of you have done this, eh? So good. Okay. Uh, I'm happy lah you have tried all this. So you have E mean equals to 1.275. Either you try it or I think my, my slide got answer already. But I hope you are following, eh? Okay. So therefore, my H mean would be E not is... But you have to try it. Sometimes I tend to make mistake on my slides as well. Huh? So, okay, Hafizan, continue. 0 0.445 meter. Okay, now. So, I have this. Okay, this is the answer for part A. For B, okay, oh, someone can be done. This is Alright, so for part B, the question says, calculate the depth of flow upstream, downstream and above here. That means Y1, Y3 and Y2 when H2 equals to H mean. Or H equals to H mean lah. This would be case Darren. This is what case ah, when H equals to H mean, Darren? Uh, case. Case 2. Okay, correct. Case 2 eh? Uh, it doesn't matter whether you write Roman or you write, you know, uh, you know, Greek letter. It doesn't matter. So case 2. Okay, correct. Uh, Darren, thank you. Okay, now. I have case 2 here. So, for case 2. Um, Zaidato, are you there, Zaidato? Alamak, I need to keep admitting people. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Zaidato, could you help me? What is Y1, eh? 
Men is kiss tu? Uh, wait dah. So y1 equal to y3 equal to y0 yeah. equal to 1.6. Yes, equal to 1.6. Okay, I want you to write this eh, then I'll give you marks. Okay, but but if you stop here, it's okay too because you already found your y0 to be correct. If your y0 is incorrect, okay, if your y0 is incorrect, then you'll lose some marks here as well eh, remember that. So, uh, Zaida tu, could you continue what is your y2? For case 2? Uh, y2 equal to YC. Correct. Equal to 0 0.8499 meter. Yes. So I have that. Okay. That's it. You solve it. Very simple, right? If you understand the whole thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Now. Then. Let's see. All right. What does the question one is, oh, you, you, there's another part here, which is when h is equal to 0 0.4 meter. Okay, now, I need somebody to give me, uh, okay, I need, uh, Mo, are you there? Mo? M-O-H-T-H? Mo? Are you there? Okay, if he's not there, I'm going to call Shahidato Munira. Dengar tak? Shahidato? Liana ada? Liana Saleh? Okay, everyone is missing. Basuntra, are you there? Basuntra? Okay, uh, kalau tak ada tak apalah. Okay, panggil setiap orang macam tak ada change, tak ada jawapan. Okay, I need somebody. Kalau awak team or you know whoever, um, uh, tadi siapa? Uh, those who can help me, yeah? Alright. Alright, okay. I need your help, eh. If H is 0 0.4 meter, if I compare it to H mean, which is... That is my HP 0 0.445 meter. This should be smaller, right? So what case is this? Can I have case somebody? Nine. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, we want to go fast, right? So you need to help me. Okay. So this is case one. So for case one, I can actually I can solve some of the answer already. So for case one, what is my Y1 right? Y1? Y1 equal to Y3 equal to Y9. Okay, that's good. Which is 1.6. That's it, eh? So now, Y2, you have to know this is not YC. Okay, so we have to solve it by drawing this at specific energy curve. All right, and running out of energy. So I have E, I have I here. So I'm going to have. This is E equals to Y. Okay, so this is E, this is Y, C. And then I know that, you know, on Y, Y, on Y, 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 and Y, three. Yeah? This is my Y not is 1.6 meter. This is 0. Oh, sorry. Uh, y C would be 0. 0.8. 0. 0.8 for my meter. Okay. So my E not is actually 1.72 meter. And then my E min is 1.275 meter. You see? When we write it down, right, it actually, you, you can plot all this out. Now, uh, here's the thing. You have, you said, you are going to build. 
right, you are going to have, uh, you, you, you said you are going to find your E2. So where is E2? You know that E2 should be between this, okay? Should be between E min and E naught. So let's say this is my E2. So you know that, you know, the energy, okay, is conserved when there is no energy loss. So E2 plus H must be equal to E naught, okay? So what we have here is this would be your H, okay? If you look at the flow profile, if you go back to our slide, right, you will know, notice that E2 plus H will give you E0. But you know that between this, E min plus H min will give you E0 as well, okay? So it comes back to E0 because there is no energy loss in this case, right? But in chapter uh, 4, later we are going to learn about hydraulic charge which involves energy loss, eh? loss of energy. So I have here E2 plus H will give me E0. Now, we want to find Y2. In order to find Y2, right, you need to know E2 in this case because you know H, you know E0. Can you find E2? Yes. So, I can write here E2 is E0 minus H. Okay? So, I have E2 equals to uh, my E0 is 1.72 over minus H should be 0 0.4. So E2 becomes 1.320 meter. Okay, so I have that. We I also know that I can relate my Y2 with E2. I know that E2 is Y2 plus Q squared okay, over 2GY2 squared. Okay, so I have that. So I can re I just you know switch side, I have my Y2. Two plus what is my Q squared? My Q squared is actually two point four five four squared over two times nine point eight one times y two squared. Okay, gives me e two one point three two zero. Okay, I have that. Um, can somebody help me calculate this part here? Can somebody help me calculate this part? Anyone? Kosong point tiga, kosong tujuh. Kosong point tiga, kosong tujuh. Minus minus okay. 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 So I have okay. that. Uh, thank you, eh? Uh, it's our activity. Yeah? My oh, Zato. My Zato. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, eh? My Zato. Okay. So I have here two points. Okay. Now, in that, if you solve this using your calculator, it's, oh, it's actually similar to your, oh, you know, how you solve for uniform flow, the try and error. Okay, that means you replace this by, say, x, it doesn't matter, eh? and this one, x squared. Okay, or, or you can actually rewrite this, and eh? this become, uh, if this is, this become cubic power, this one, uh, uh, y squared, and then you have that. Okay, you can rewrite it, it doesn't matter. You can, once you solve it, you are going to get your y2. Okay. Now, can you give me the answer of Y2? Anyone? Kosong point tujuh kosong enam. Kosong point tujuh kosong oh zero point zero eh? Eh, kosong kosong point tujuh kosong enam. Oh okay. Zero zero point seven zero six meter. Is this the only answer? Is is there another answer? 1.032 yes, 1.032 Because uh, Meter eh, thank you Siapa tu? Hamizan Hamizan, okay Hamiz uh, Sorry doctor, 0.708 Okay, right, so 0 0.7 Okay now, see, look at this 1Y2 is here Which is 1 0.032 
You see, this value is actually in fact between 1.6 and 0.8499. The other y2 that you give me, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, this is the, the point, yeah? this is the point. Yeah? The other y2 that you give me is here, 0 0.708, which is less than this yc. This is super critical, this is subcritical. So, which answer do you think it, it is? Jawapan yang mana lebih yang betul? Anyone? 1.032. Yes, correct. Because you see, yeah. Let me draw out. Okay. Let me draw this out. You have this here, right? You have this subcritical flow, right? Coming. Okay. Just assume that. Okay. Because this should be equals to this. Okay. In this case, right? Okay. You have this is y two. Okay. Now, it won't reach, it won't change anything. It'll just reduce, okay? Sum of, because uh, that means it won't change its state of flow, okay? So what would have you have here, initially when this is sub, when I said subcritical, okay? This would be reduced a bit, then it will return back to your subcritical, which is from here, you are going to reduce that a bit, oh sorry, you didn't see it, eh? Um, I have to. So, when initially when it is subcritical, right, the depth would be reduced a bit, then it will still remain in subcritical state. It won't switch to super. Remember that. Unless your Y not initially is hit this point, okay, which is super critical, then your y2 should be sub super critical as well. Remember that, eh? it should be the same condition for case one. Eh? I hope this clear out. Eh? So therefore, you already saw this. You have y1, y3, and y2. Okay, that's it. Eh? So let's look at the final part, uh, C, second part, okay, which is where H is when h is 0 0.6 meter. Now, compare it with h mean, which is uh, 0 0.445 meter. Now, anyone can give me what case it is this? Case 3, doctor. Case 3, because H is greater than H mean, therefore this is case 3. Can you give me any depth answer? Can, can you give me Y1, Y2 or Y3? Any answer that is available when you know it's case 3? Anyone? Y2, same as YC. Yes, you already found this. Okay, that's it. This is done already for Y. What, what is my YC here? Which is, um, and YC is 0 0.8. Eh? Oh, I should have looked at my EY curve and eh? give me everything already here. Okay. Now, now for case 3, okay, I, I'm i going to refer to this. Eh? Case 3, or I can actually uh, find this one. This is case, this is case 2. Okay, this is case 1. For case 3, remember, you have your E minimum. If you start from your E not right, okay, you won't, the flow won't occur unless you add some energy, okay, to ensure that there will be flow, sorry, this is the line, eh? there will be flow occur, so you'll get the new E, eh? E1, E3, E135, okay. So, this is your Y1 prime, your Y1, okay, value which should be greater than 1.6, eh? Okay, your Y3 is this one. Of course, now you don't know, you don't know, uh, you know, if you didn't find your 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.8, you probably, you don't know, it's smaller than this, but it, it is definitely uh, less than 0 0.4. 8499, okay? This is your Y3 prime. Remember for case 3, right? For case 3, okay, it doesn't matter whether it's subcritical or supercritical, 
uh, your Y1, okay, is always uh, in subcritical state and your Y3 is always in supercritical state. Eh? Uh, for if this is supercritical, you expect hydrate jump to occur here. But in subcritical case, right, which is in our case, right, Y0 is subcritical, right? So there's no hydrate jump, right? But your Y1 is still, you know, because it's going to hit this rear, all right? Or just going to, you know, accumulate back, there's back water, lah, all right? Okay, now you have that. The problem is we still need to solve this. Okay, Y1 and Y3, how are we going to solve it? So I'm going to redraw this, okay? This looks messy, actually you need to find this value, okay? Uh, but, but it's fine then, okay? Referring to this, you can actually find it too. So look at this, eh? This is E13 here. This is our H, this is E min. There's a formula here, you know. E min plus H, for H3, eh? I'm going to say this is H, H3, okay? This is H, H2, uh, H1. H min will be H2, eh? So E min plus H, you'll get E13, okay? So now you can find E13 already because you know your E min, you know your H for H3. So your E13 prime equals to E min, okay, plus H. H of the H3, right? So E13 prime is our E is 1.275 plus H is 0 0.6. They will give you 1.875. Now, how do you find 1 and 3? So, I'm going to write the specific energy formula. I'm just going to write this first. This is the same as our energy formula. This is a common specific energy. So I'm going to find for E13, E13, E13. Oh, sorry, I forgot square. Okay, so, see, sometimes I forgot to square this guy too. Okay, now, so I have this value. So I'm going to rewrite it. I just change position, right? So I have Y13 uh, plus Q squared. Okay, I can actually substitute my Q already, which is um, my Q would be, I think I have to answer. My Q would be two point okay two point four five four square divided by two point seven point eight one. Um, so I have one two square. Okay, it's supposed to be primer, but I I worried you might get confused right with this. So I have here this is equal to one point eight seven five. Yeah. Now, you know that solving E for E, E1 prime, right, you are going to get two solutions. Eh? One is, one should be greater than 1.6 meter. The other one should be less than YC lah, or less than 0 0.708. Eh? So, um, Hafizan yang tadi. Hafizan, can you help solve for me? Or anyone? Maizato ke, Awati ke? Solve this for me. What is your, your answer, please? Zero point three zero six nine. Correct, eh? Yes. Okay, our Why? thing, eh? Uh. Uh -uh. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> I think now I recognize your voice already. <laughs> okay. So, okay, now you have this, right? So, help me. Give me the solution for this. You must get 2Y. What is the answer then? Can you help uh, do try and error for me, please? Kosong point empat enam enam sembilan enam kosong point empat enam enam sembilan. Okay. <laughs> the other one is ini ini masih satu eh. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, doctor, saya tak dapat lah nilai satu lagi sebab saya dapat satu je. Eh, you should get the other one. Try some value. Okay, you see eh, yeah? if you don't believe me, uh, I think I have my solution ready here. Um, you try 1.778 meter. You, you actually could get this, if you substitute 1.778 meter, right? You say 1.778 plus 0.3069 divided by 1.778 square, you are going to get the same answer as well. Trust me. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. But but you have to learn how to use your calculator to get this fast, both. Okay? Because uh, in your final or your test two, there is most probably you have this kind of question, eh? You need to do this. So which one is Y1, which one is Y3? Anyone could give me? Y1, Y1, Y1.778. Ah, correct. This is Y1. This is Y3. This is super critical. This is subcritical. That's it. Okay, you are done for this. Now, once if you can get this, you can understand all this proper, properly, that means you know the subject already. Okay, now, um, you know, I'm so, I told you I actually want to finish, you know, that the other remain the same lah. But I have another, uh, let's just stop this first. Okay, let's go to, let's go to our slide. But I'm just going to go briefly, okay? I'm going to explain the concept of uh, flow through constriction, then we'll come back. Uh, and, uh, you know, try during your break, right? Try working on your assignment three. Um, I'm going to upload it later, okay? Your assignment three. If you have problem, uh, just text me, right? Message in WhatsApp group is also okay. So I'm going to spend another 10 to 15 minutes lah, alright, because um, if it's too long, it will be just too much for you, alright. Okay, now, uh, now we are looking back at our slides, huh? okay, so, um, now, so far we have been looking at, you know, one is specific energy, then we apply the specific energy in uh, solving the problem of flow over broad crescent wheel. So there's another, you know, problem that we are going to look at, which is flow through constriction. Now, if you look at this, right, okay, this is the plan view. That means initially, right, you have plan view means you are looking at the top, eh, uh, from the top. Uh, your plan view means you are looking at the width of the channel, okay. And then look at this, you have location 0, 1, 2 and 3. At location 2, the width of the channel reduced to becomes B2. Okay, because we, we put that B2 because due to the location of 2 lah. Alright, now what would happen to the depth of flow? It would be reduced. If you look at the uh, it, uh, the diagram below, alright, at, uh, uh, below it, is the longitudinal section that means you cut it along the uh, flow uh, in the middle then you are going to look at you know the changes in depth and on the right hand side you are going to look at q uh, q y curve and then uh, the further left is the e y curve okay let me explain this okay uh, i'm going to explain this this is the thing eh um, maybe, maybe not yet. I'll sh I'm going to explain the concept to you. Then we'll go look at the slide. Okay, so I'm going to write it out on the paper now. Okay. Uh, you should be able to look at the paper ready, right? The A4 paper, eh? Now, here's the thing, eh? When I let's let's just use, um, uh, you know, uh, I have. I'm going to draw this out first. Okay, let's just use. This is V two. 
right? I have this is B or B not. Sometimes I, you know, I have B or B not lah. I put not because it's the original uh, uh, channels with, right? Um, then, okay, here's the thing. The concept would be, let me ask somebody lah, all right? Let me ask you. You, for here, you know, assuming Q constant lah, Q constant. If Q constant, right, you know that your discharge, sorry, is Q over V. Of course, discharge per unit width, sorry, I, I, I hope you got it. Okay. Of course, this discharge per unit width right, depends on the width of the channel. Okay. If, okay, B is reduced, you will expect this to increase. I, I hope you understand. Eh? Now, I want to ask somebody, my Zato. Can I ask you one question, my Zato? Okay, my Zato, eh? Okay, I have Q not here. I have Q two here. Which one should be greater? Which one is greater than the other one? Yang mana lebih besar? Q not. Look at this. Okay. This for me. If this is big, this should be small. If this is small, this should be bigger. Ini berkata sang-sang kan? It's actually oh, uh, okay. inversely, okay. Uh, inversely proportional. Okay, because this is not uh, directly proportional. Inversely. If this is big, or if this is small, this should be, this will increase, am I right? So this is large. Correct, eh? Okay. Okay, now, when I draw the EY curve, eh? Okay. When I draw this EY curve, initially, okay, let's, let's assume uh, initially it's just, you know, this is plan view, eh? That means I'm looking from the top, eh? Uh, at 2 also, I have B0, location 2. At location 1, also B0. Okay, location 3 also be not that, you know, due to, I want to construct a bridge. Then I put, you know, I put abutment there, okay, or pier. So this will be reduced already, okay. This will be reduced already. So what would happen is, okay, this, if I plot this, if I change the Q, right, okay. So let, 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 let me show you the Excel file. This is a second, eh. I'm going to stop this. Uh, we'll, we'll stop at 9.20, eh, if you are okay with me, eh. Uh, 9.20, stop presenting this. I'm going to show you my Excel file. I want to change the queue. Okay, now, this is a typical, okay, X value, Y value, it, it doesn't matter lah, I'm supposed to give value here, but it's okay. Now, you have this EY curve, okay, constant discharge. You see, yeah, when I change your width, okay, let's assume, right, when I change your width, it's only at location 2, eh, okay, what would happen here? I reduce it, say, the width change to 1.5. That means the curve moves, all right? If I change it, I, if I enlarge it, it's proportional because I said the Q reduces, okay? Why is, okay, I, by now you should, be, you should realize eh, that, you know, you are going to get new, you are going to get new EY curve, eh? See? I'm going to reduce it further and see what happens. Okay. 
So, uh, we are going to get new curve. In previous topic related to H mean, right, we only have one EY curve because Q remain the same. But in this case, Q changes at as, uh, at location 2, right? So at location 2, you are going to get another EY curve because Q change. Now, how how do we determine where, uh, how, what would your EY curve move to? Okay, change to. So let's go to uh, look at this. Okay, now let's look at this. You see, eh? um, this Q. Okay, I have this right. I said when this, when B increase, Q reduce. But in our case, eh, because we this topic is about constriction, that means your B is B2. You are going to reduce it. So once your B2 reduce, your Q2 will be increased. Huh? At location 2, eh? Okay, your Q2 increase. What would happen to your YC? YC is, let me use this uh, rectangular formula. You have Q squared over G, 1 over 3. Q is directly proportional to y, YC. If Q increase, your YC will increase as well. Okay, if Q reduce, of course, your YC will reduce. So, we mentioned that just now, at location 2, when there is constriction, right, your Q will increase, right? Okay, so if your Q increase, your Y increases as well. So, this curve is when B is equal to B0 initially, lah, all right? Or at location 1, location 3, or B is still B0, right? But if location 2, at location 2, you reduce the width, you are going to get another EY curve where the YC increases. Okay, this is your YC. I put here YC0. This is your YC2. Yeah. So, this would be your E min naught. The initial one, eh? this would be your E min 2. I hope you are clear eh, by now because your YC would increase due to, you know, uh, increase in Q. So, therefore, okay. Now, after I explain this, I want to, I want to explain the difference between case 1, case 2 and case 3. Now, let's look at this. Okay, I have case 1, case 2, case 3 is now. Now, we are looking at this term here, B max. What is B max? B max is the maximum width that would cause critical flow to occur. It's already maximum. That means maximum width. That means you cannot go maximum than it. So, if B2 is smaller than B max, critical flow will always occur. Okay, I hope you are clear. Eh? Let's, let's draw it up. Okay. This is top view. Eh? View from top. So this is B2. This is B1 or B0. Lah, eh? It will remain the same. No change, right? So if Assuming, eh, uh, let's say, I would say, this is my Bmax. Okay, this is Bmax. I found out lah, my Bmax in some, some, some way, right? If B2 is smaller than Bmax, you expect critical flow to occur. Because this is a maximum already that will allow critical flow to occur. If you re reduce the width, Larger, your B2 larger than B max, that means there would not be critical flow occur at this location here. So that will give us three cases. Alright, case one is when B2 is greater than B max. 
case two is when B2 is equal to B max. And case three is when B2 is less than B max. So in case, all these cases, right, this is when Y2 is critical flow, right? Critical flow. Okay, this is not critical flow eh? at, location, at location two. Uh, I will say location two lah. Now, uh, you have to be careful. Okay, you have to be careful in the sense that this Y C, when you are calculating using this B max, is not the same as Y C when you are calculating calculating with this B two eh. This B2 equals to B max, but this B2 is smaller than B max. Why? Because remember your YC always change when your Q changes. Uh, how and when this is due to when B change. So don't expect the YC to be the same. It just it's not the same, right? Eh, due to different Q, eh? Alright, now you have that. Um so okay, now I'm going to draw this concept of EY curve here. Alright, so what you are going to have is, okay, I want to show you the three cases. I think I should draw this, this easy for me. Put in not on because this is the initial. That means there is no uh, width contraction yet. Okay, you have this. But when there is a width contraction, right, your curve could be, there are three conditions, eh? your curve could be the E mean could fall between this. That means I'll just draw one here. Okay. Or your E mean could fall exactly at E naught, okay? Or you are going to have mu, you know, uh, E and it's additional E naught lah, or you are going to get additional specific energy, okay? So you have here is what do you have here is this would be case one. This would be case. Two, this would be case three. What is case three when B is B2 is smaller than B max? But but I know probably you don't you cannot uh, you know uh, that understand the whole concept yet, but through exercises you should be able to you know understand further. Uh, this would be where B2 is equal to B max. That means it falls exactly E mean, falls exactly like E naught, eh? E mean 2, eh? This would be E mean 2 already. From here, eh? This would be E mean 2, right? That means it gives the same as E naught. Case 1 is when B2 is larger than B max, okay? Now, you have three cases here, okay? Uh, just, just, you know, the concept first, then we'll just we'll go through the slide now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just go to, through the slide for a few minutes, then we'll stop, we'll continue for next week, alright? Um, because it, I guess sometimes I'm worried it will be too much for you, okay? Alright. Okay, now, uh, so we have, we, just now what I've shown you is actually flow through contraction, constricted channel, eh? So, I think I explained this already. Uh, okay, I think this is example of constriction. You see, this is from top view. Uh, the depth would change here eh, along the flow. Uh, this is example where, you know, constriction might occur. I actually take... I took all this photo from UTHM. Within UTHM, we can see so many, you know, uh, structure that constrict the flow. Uh, but uh, on your top 
Right, right. That is from Kaham. Yeah. Um, I think the dam has already been, uh, uh, I mean, fully constructed already. This is when it's during construction, right? We have a site visit there. Uh, this is in front of our mosque, eh? uh, masjid. Okay, this is when it was like uh, construct. Uh, it was during construction, the uh, drainage system. Um, I just wanted to show you. Sometimes we give you compound section. Remember, this is the section that you have calculated during your test one. I hope you still remember. Eh? Almost similar, right? You have a, but then you have a semicircular lah in your uh, question, eh? Semicircular, and then the second part is the trapezoidal, and then you have. Uh, so don't don't tell. Uh, I I just want to. Uh, I just want you to get the idea that the shape or the compound section that we give you is actually is real, eh? Okay, not just you know, um, we, we, we give you uh, you know, not just imaginary. Okay, now, uh, let's go back to this uh, B max here, all right? So, what is B max? All right, B max is the maximum width of constriction which will start to produce critical flow, all right? I would say, I, if I were to change this definition, right, I would say the maximum width of construction that will cause critical flow that, or uh, critical flow to occur at the construction. When I say construction, is at location 2, eh? Okay, Y2 change to YC. Okay, now, of course, when this is the maximum width, of course, it's small, when it's smaller, it it keeps getting critical flow okay but not larger this is the maximum width already yeah okay now um you, this is the one case one case two case three i've explained to you okay so we have case one case two and case three when b2 less than b max all right okay then uh, this is the diagram or oh, here the, the plot q versus y is Almost similar eh, to your EY, okay, uh, curve, all right. But but for me, EY curve is easier to understand, but I don't mind if you want to use the QY curve to uh, find your solution. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, because we've been using EY curve, right, in the previous topic, so I just continue. This is the cases, eh? Still, the step is similar. You need to find Y0 uh, and YC. You want to see which... Uh, state of flow it belongs to initially then you are going to have your cases that mean if you want to you know classify it into the cases of course you need to know b max all right so b max value is very important all right so in, in look at this case three still for case three right your y1 would remain subcritical your y3 would remain super critical state okay i hope you you by now you should uh get the familiarity yeah with the previous uh flow over broadcasted weird problem that we have solved now let's look at the for, look at this for case one y1 equals to y3 equals to y0 sounds familiar right okay y2 is not yc2 yeah i put here yc2 because it, it is not the same as yc0 Remember, there's a change in Q, right? So, well, YC changes already. For case 2, Y1 equals to Y3 equals to Y0. Your Y2 is equal to YC2. For case 3, Y1 is not Y3 and is not the same as Y0. So, you have new Y1 and Y3 and your Y2 is YC2, which depends on the width of the channel. Okay? Now, let's see here this is a set all right that helps you all right uh, case by case this is what i've explained earlier all right so i hope we can go through this okay this is the formula okay um now what i want you to do is you go through this formula right uh, this is i think i've explained to you okay. yes to show when i reduce the b right your yc will increase as well right so okay now try activity what 3.13 okay and and 3.14 i think you should be able to 
do it eh? 3.15 you understand the whole thing because solution is there solution is there so it'll be helpful lah to you eh? okay. um, i think you should be able to try out lah. Oh, okay so try out all the uh, calculation so when we come back from your break right on Monday, we are going to go going through one solution. I think maybe 3.18. Eh? We are going to go through 3.18 because you, this consists of all cases, case 1, case 2, and case 3. Okay, so we are going to look at that and find, this is the final slide. Eh? Um, so I'll, I'll just uh, go through this uh, to end our class today. Now, what is choking? Okay, choking is actually to... In to actually to uh, we give you all right uh, it's actually the term used uh, to show all those case three cases what is case three cases okay uh, I need to go back to this second to this second okay case three it doesn't matter when uh, in the case of flow over broad crested wheel or flow through constricted channel, okay, uh, for case three, you are going to have back water. Uh, this is choking where, you, you know, you, you should understand what is choke, right, okay, you are choking, right, okay, that means, you know, you cannot breathe through, you cannot flow through, it, it the same phenomenon occur here, that means, you, when the width is reduced, too much in case three, right? That means it's uh, the width is reduced less than B max. That means the water cannot flow freely. What would happen is there's back water. That means choking occurs. It's the same as uh, when flow over uh, broad crested weir. All right, you would have these cases of choking as well. All right, so it's not desirable. Why? Okay, why? If you look at this, right? This backwater, right, would affect upstream flow. It could, for example, if your channel has, doesn't have sufficient width, that means the water will overflow. It will flood the adjacent area. So you have to be careful. So it's not desirable, basically. So when you design, you want to make sure, you know, uh, if you can try to avoid case three, okay? So let's look at uh, the final slide here. Oops, sorry. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's not desirable in design of culvert because uh, due to uh, flooding and such problems. Okay. So that's it for chapter three. I hope you go back and start doing your uh, all the activities. I'm going to post assignment three. And I'm going to give you a deadline which is one week after you start your class. Okay, that means uh, the end of week 8 lah, eh, to submit uh, assignment 3. I think only consists two questions. Okay, so far, do you have any question, guys? Okay, thank you Zaidato. Okay. You, you can try for us, okay? So, anyone, do you have question? Uh, maybe you are tired already. <laughs> so, I guess uh, I'm going to wish you uh, happy holidays. Uh, Selamat Hari Raya uh, to all of you. Uh, and then, um, I hope if you are free, uh, go through all these activities and it's not difficult to score a good grade for hydraulics, okay? Um, so, I'll see you then. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. You're welcome. Dr. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, Amira. Amira ke siapa? Yeah. Zaida to. Yeah, Zaida to. Uh, nak tanya pasal attendant. Oh, attendance. Hari ni saya terlupa. Uh, don't worry lah. Don't worry, Zadato. I have this okay. all recorded. I can actually check from here. Don't worry. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hmm? You too. <laughs> <coughs> For those who are driving back, have a safe trip, eh?
Thank you, Dota. You're welcome. Um, doctor, can I ask you a question? Yes, let's try. You are in and out. I realized that, right? Yeah, my line, my line was not so good today. Doctor, what's uh, where, the difference between the backwater and jump? Actually, I'm sorry. What's the difference between the backwater and jump? Backwater and hydraulic jump. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, hydraulic jump is when. Uh, okay, you are going to learn about hydraulic jump in chapter 4 but I'm going to, you know, uh, give you some uh, brief explanation. Hydraulic jump occurs when supercritical flow changes to subcritical flow uh, and it involves uh, loss of energy. You know, when you look at this flow over broad crested wheel and also the problems of uh, flow going through constricted channel right what mm. would happen is uh in case three right uh in case three only when the upstream flow is in super critical state you are going to get hydraulic jump because hydraulic jump would only occurs when the upstream flow is super critical for the case three is it yes for case three okay all right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Doctor. Yes, I am. Yes, Sorry, Doctor. Eh, Doctor. Um, yang apa yang nilai yang kita cari depth tu, yang yeah. Y tu kan ada dua nilai. Yeah, Macam mana nak dapatkan satu lagi sebab saya dah kira tapi tak dapat Dapat satu tapi, tapi kalau you ganti dua-dua nilai, you akan dapat jawapan sama betul tak? Ganti dua-dua nilai? Ha, mak maksud saya ialah kalau contohnya kalau, kalau kita pergi balik tadi uh, Contohnya mana eh? Okay, sekejap eh kita tengok uh, Sorry doktor Eh okay, tak apa, tak ada hal Okay. Uh, kita tengok uh, Nampak screen, uh, nampak A4 paper tak saya tak? Nampak? Mm, nampak Ija saya nampak eh uh, Maksud saya, uh, untuk kes ni kan Kalau lah, contohnya kan uh, Ini Maizato kan? Ha -ha. Uh, Maizato uh, Bila Maizato selesaikan persamaan ni, Maizato akan dapat contoh ni 0.4669 kan? Dia yeah. 1.7 lah. Cuba cuba. Uh, 0.4669. Okay. Maizato dapat ini. Maknanya bila Maizato ganti 0.4669 dalam ni, hmm. Maizato akan dapat nilai ni kan? 1.4667. Uh, huh? okay. Cuba Maizato ganti nilai ni. Sebabnya Maizato akan dapat ini juga. Sebab okay. Ha, sebab kita kita kan kata kalau kita tengok curve ni kan ini, ini Satu nilai E ni bagi dua nilai Y Betul tak? Uh -huh. ha, so cuba ganti cuma sekarang ni teknik nak dapatkan jawapan yang kedua kan Guna kata uh -huh. kita ha, uh -huh. Yang itu sebenarnya Cakap betul masa saya belajar hidrolik 20 tahun dulu, dulu. <laughs> Sebab sekarang umur saya dah 40 Nak, nak dekat 50 dah okay. 20 tahun dulu kami tak dibenarkan guna scientific calculator tau <laughs> Jadi okay. uh, yeah. Jadi kami tak ada yang boleh save memory, save equation Jadi <laughs> apa yang kami kena buat ialah Kami kena cuba jaya Why uh, uh, tak kisahlah buat apa, ini ialah R, A, R, 23 Contohnya ini nak selesaikan banding, why not kan? So mm -hmm. kami cuba, cuba, dapat, cuba, dapat Sampai dapat jawapan dia uh, Cuma dalam case ni, you, you guys tak perlu cuba You guys tekan calculator, dia akan dapat jawapan ni kan? Cuma uh -huh. ada satu cara saya tak akan, tak, 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 tak pasti You tekan soft sekali lagi, tunggu kejap Untuk dapatkan penyesuaian yang kedua Ataupun um, you know, ada ada tekan butang apa-apa untuk dapat satu lagi. Saya, saya tak ingat. Tapi student dulu pernah inform bagi tahu saya macam mana dia selesaikan. Cuba itulah hmm. saya kena cubalah cari 
cara macam mana ataupun saya kena beli calculator sendiri kena cuba. Ah uh, itu je. Saya <laughs> cari dekat YouTube semalam tapi uh. dia keluar yang uh, yang table tu je. Ha uh, itulah table uh. tu je kan sebab ini macam uh-huh. lama eh, tapi lambat lah Cuma tipsnya kan tipsnya kadang-kadang kalau lah susah sangat kan. Um, kan tadi kalau kita tengok yang ini kan bila kita plot kan kita kata kita sebenarnya boleh agak satu lagi jawapan tu mestilah bawah YC dan satu lagi mestilah lebih besar daripada why not kan mm-hmm. uh, sebenarnya kita dah tahu agak-agak anggaran jawapannya kat mana okey uh, contohnya kes ni kan kita tahu anggaran jawapannya kat mana cuma cuma I think ah uh, ini kot cuma saya Uh, nak nak cari jawapan ni lah yang dari calculator tu yang saya susah sikit nak explain <laughs> Sebab oh, saya pun tak boleh calculator. Ha, boleh eh? Ha. Tapi tadi uh, saya cuba try buat macam hmm. akhir ni saya masukkan tu uh, First saya, nak, saya jadikan Y tu sebagai X Ya yeah. Okay lepas tu ha, saya dapat yeah. 0.4 ha. so, Satu cara lagi lain. Ha? Satu cara lagi ya eh. Ini saya kata X tambah 0.3069 bahagi hmm. dengan x kuasa 2 sama dengan 1.875 hmm. uh, kan. So okay. apa yang saya boleh buat ialah saya darab x kuasa 2 tau pada semua kan. So apa yang hmm. saya dapat ialah saya akan dapat x kuasa 3 sama dengan 1.875 x kuasa 2 betul tak? So saya betul. akan dapat x kuasa 3 tak, uh, tolak sorry tolak 1.875 x kuasa 2 tambah 0.3 69 sama 0. Saya pun boleh selesaikan persamaan ni. Betul? Sama je kan? Ah uh-uh, ah sama je. Eh tak maksud saya uh, Doktor? Ya saya. Ah uh, maksud saya uh, dalam kalkulator tu uh, saya gantikan y tu sebagai l eh? pasal saya akan dapat 0.3. Lepas tu uh, saya gantikan, saya jadikan Y tu sebagai Y juga dalam kalkulator Kira ni buat dua kali, X, X kali oh, dapat kosong Oh, lepas tu yang akan dapat ni Okay, lepas tu uh-huh, bila ni tukar, dia dapat ini Tapi bila saya cuba kali kedua, tak dapat Oh, ah, tak mungkin, mungkin itu cara dia ataupun You ada pernah tekan soft sekali lagi tak? Selepas dia dapat jawapan ni, tekan soft kan? Soft sekali lagi, you dapat uh-huh. jawapan tak ni? Pernah tekan tak cuba? Uh-huh. Oh tak pernah juga. Ha, cuba tengok kalau you percaya nanti nak minta my satu tolong kat kawan-kawan boleh juga kan? <laughs> boleh. Ha, boleh. Kan? Ataupun kalau dulu ada student cakap dia buat macam ni. So dia pun boleh dapat jawapan tapi mana-mana lah. Oh kira-kira buat manual. Ha, tak ini bukan manual ni pun masuk dalam calculator oh, oh, ni. Okay, ha, okay, okay. Yeah. Cuma, cuma dia buka je lah. Dia, 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 dia macam dia bawa benda ni naik atas je lah itu je. Oh. Uh, okay doktor. Okay. Alright. Terima kasih doktor. Sama-sama. Okay. So anyone else? Do you have any question? Kalau tak ada soalan, uh, tak ada soalan tu kita jumpa Isnin selepas cuti raya you all eh. Okay. Okay doktor. Alright. Thank you doktor. Thank you doktor. Alright, happy holidays. Thank you, Rata. Alright. Thank you, Rata. You're welcome. I'm here. Thank you, Rata. You're welcome, Yuslan. Happy holiday. Hey, oh, happy holiday to you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs>